Breaking news. Deion Sanders to USF. Or is it Colorado? No, it's Nebraska. No, 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 it's Auburn. Wait, actually, no, actually, he's not going anywhere. He's just going to stay at Jackson State University and hang out there. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel High Top Sports. I'm your host, Sheldon. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn the bell on because we're posting bangers every single day and we go live every Wednesday at 8.35. Now, we got to figure out what the hell is going on with Dion. Where is he going to go? Is it all just fluff and noise? Because it's the busiest week of the year for college sports, for college football. Just, it's a great week. Why are we talking about Dion? Because why not? All right, so we've got to look at our options here. Does he stay? Does he go? Is it Auburn? Is it USF or Colorado? Or is it Nebraska? Or are we completely off? Let's start off with him staying at home. Because he says he wants to bring HBCU back. He wants to really bring home the SWAC and make them, make them a powerhouse and make them relevant again. And I believe that. But I saw a quote the other day by, by Dion, and it goes, and, and I've made a video about him getting paid a big bag. And people are like, well, he doesn't care about the money. I understand that. Dion doesn't care about the money. Now, people need to realize the, the whole reason why you sign big contracts and you go after big jobs is for status. That's number one. Number two, and Dion said this. This is out of Dion's words, not mine. He goes, I want to go somewhere, not because I care about the money about getting paid, but I want my coaches to get paid. So he wants to get his boys paid, his coaches that are around him. He's going to bring those guys that have been working with him, HBCU and get them paid. Jackson State can't pay them. It is what it is, okay? And if he's going, if he's getting paid three hundred thousand dollars a year, those guys are probably making sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. I mean, that's great, but it's nothing, nothing what they could be making. They could be making easily one point two to two million dollars. They go to an Auburn or a Nebraska, USF, maybe half a million for those guys, maybe three hundred thousand for those guys, which is to them that's life changing money. Again, Dion isn't going to get life changing money anywhere he goes, but he is about helping out his his people. That's what he preaches now about staying at Jackson State University. With that, I don't think he stays. As much as he preaches about it, I think he's done a great job of bringing HBCU up and making it more popular, and he can still do that even if he does move. But I don't think he stays. Option two, you got USF versus Colorado. That team came out of nowhere, right? Because he's obviously has now is in cahoots and talking with both of these schools on where is he going to go. My opinion, Colorado seems like a crapshoot. Okay, it's almost like they're just hoping they just can get some shit to stick because. Why in God's name would you go to Colorado if USF is knocking down your door? First of all, just style of living is an easy one up, okay? Colorado is beautiful, but we're talking about Florida, all right? Number two, you've got IMG in your backyard, literally in your backyard, and you are in your hometown. If you can pull somebody like a Travis Hunter to, to Jackson State, the number one recruit in the country, could you imagine what this man could do literally a door down from IMG Florida. We the state of Florida would be in trouble. As a Gator fan, I do not want him to come to USF because he would destroy the state of Florida. He would put USF on the map so damn fast. We would all get whiplash. We would what no happened. USF would have to leave the state in their spaceship they just built because USF would no longer exist. USF is also making a tear with with spending in billions of dollars on new facilities or a new stadium. There's a ton of there's a ton of money out there for NIL opportunities. USF just seems absolutely prime for Dion to land. Your next option, obviously, is Auburn, the one that everyone keeps talking about. But I got to be honest, taking a uh, you know approach here, I don't see Auburn paying Dion. I don't see the old money dialed in and going to take a risk on somebody like a Dion Sanders. They'd rather go get uh, a Lane Kiffin, a more comfortable option because of how much money they've been blowing through their, their low lately on coaches. A Dion's a big risk. You don't know what he can do yet. I think he's great. I think he can make an impact. But I also know... SEC fans are not patient. I think Lane Kiffin gets chewed up and spit out, but that's that's an, another story for another day. I just don't see Dion landing at Auburn. As much as we would all want it, as much as we all think it would be exciting to watch, I just don't see it playing out that way. Just logistics and what I've seen in the past, I don't see it happening right now. My Dark Knight, my choice, and then maybe not the most popular choice, but I think it's the best for Dion, is Nebraska. Nebraska has no choice but to be patient. And now you get an opportunity to go play at a Power 5 conference, okay? It may make an impact, very quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if Dion found himself in a Big Ten championship in one or two years, okay? Because he played against the West in the likes of Iowa, Purdue, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Northwestern. You can hang with those boys. Right now, the leader of the West Division is Iowa with a 7-4 and record, 5-3 and in the conference. You're telling me old boy Dion couldn't win more than four, seven games? He can't get eight or nine games in his second year at, at Nebraska? You're crazy. I think he can make it happen. There's history there. There's culture. I think he can make an impact early. Again, you get your opportunity. You play in a Big Ten championship. They're, they're going to be patient. They have no choice but to be patient, unlike in Auburn. But I know that USF job looks very lucrative because now you have even more time, in my opinion, to go to USF. I think you make an impact much quicker at USF than you would in Nebraska. The recruiting would be absolutely insane compared to Nebraska. So honestly, I'm kind of torn between the two. But I like Nebraska for the sense that I think it'd be great for college football for Dion to play at a school like Nebraska over USF. I think it'd be fun for USF, but it would be fantastic for Nebraska. 
Nebraska's like your old USC, the old Texas of the world. They are the, the staple point of college football. We need them to be back. And could you imagine the only person to bring them back a little Dion, a little primetime love at primetime? Okay? Nebraska back on the board against, uh, you know, Ohio State, Wisconsin. That'd be a good time, boys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What's your thoughts on it? Does he stay? Does he go? Do you give a shit? If you, if you don't give a shit, obviously you do. You clicked on the video. Make sure you guys like it too. Show some love. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you in the next one. See you.